Todd's Carpet and Tile Cleaning. Call or text 702-595-0488. U.S. Senator Jackie Rosen joined the bipartisan group of members of Congress in writing a letter urging the U.S. Department of Education to take additional steps in their efforts to counter anti-Semitism and protect Jewish students on college campuses. The other members of Congress that took part in this involve Senator James Langford and Representatives Kathy Manning and Chris Smith. The letter also requests that the Department of Education brief members of Congress on the department's programs in implementing the U.S. national strategy to counter anti-Semitism, due by September 30th of this year. According to reports from the Anti-Defamation League, which is a Jewish international non-governmental organization based in the U.S. that specializes in civil rights law, anti-Semitic incidents on college campuses increased by 41% from 2021 to 2022. During that period, nearly one-third of the Jewish students were reported to have experienced anti-Semitism directed at them either on campus or by a member of the campus's community. The letter that was sent by the aforementioned members of Congress expressed support for the Education Department's anti-Semitism awareness campaign and other commitments regarding the national strategy to counter anti-Semitism, which was issued in May 2023. In the letter, it stated, We encourage the department to continue to swiftly investigate other pending cases and to continue to enforce federal civil rights rights laws against anti-Semitism in all forms. We also encourage the department to undertake concentrated efforts to encourage the reporting of anti-Semitic incidents. Despite the increases in complaints to OCR, anti-Jewish incidents remain woefully underreported. That is why we're respectfully requesting that the department provide written responses to the following questions. How is the department working to swiftly resolve a backlog of pending discrimination complaints, and specifically those involving anti-Semitism? Semitism. What additional resources does the department require to successfully resolve the pending complaints in a timely manner? How will the department help schools, including those that have experienced an increase in anti-Semitism, improve their processes and procedures for reporting anti-Semitic incidents upon college campuses? How does the department plan to highlight best practices to prevent and address anti-Semitism on campus and ensure students, educators, and administrators are aware of available? resources. And finally, what technical assistance will the department provide to schools regarding Title IV, its application to Jewish students, and its coverage of all forms of anti-Semitic discrimination? <laughs>